the shoulder. You had yourself one hell of a night, huh, Yagami? Well, you Nothing did too. It's ending anytime soon. That damn gun. That damn Pixar light up my face. <laughs> Could you at least take these off? What's up, everybody? I am BTJ Gaming, and we're back with some more gameplay of Judgment. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, I advise you to go check it out. There will be a link that you can click on the right side of your screen. If I do forget to put it up, just look for the playlist on the channel, uh, Judgment PS5 Gameplay. Also, I would like to take the time to thank everybody that just recently subscribed and everybody that's been showing me the love and support. Man, my channel is growing um and everything man so I, I give praise to god for that and i really appreciate everybody that's been showing me love and support um my channel cannot grow without your support so i really appreciate it um i don't take it for granted and i'll always appreciate it man um, i'm blessed um but also before we get to this gameplay make sure you like and subscribe because it does help my channel grow if you're watching the video please try to watch a good amount of the video because it does have a watch time now with that being said man let's get into some gameplay of judgment AD-9's dark human experiments. The mole who facilitated them. As Yagami gets closer to the truth, the trap is sprung. Details come at the cost of Kaito's blood. Yeah, that last episode was cra each crazy. word that Hamura, the Matsugane family captain, speaks pulls back the veil <laughs> a little further. Chapter 11, Curtain Call. It's been a minute since I played this game, bro. Get your fucking hands off me. All right, so we just... Hmm. Oh, they got Sanchez. This is as good a spot as any. You need any instruments. You just ask me. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Now, I think it's about time we got some answers. And you're gonna give them to us. Should we take it from the top? First off, the one in control of all this is Shono, the 89 researcher. How long have you been working for him? Murdering for him. I already have a good silent. idea. <laughs> How about I guess? <laughs> First time you used the mole was. Okay, so the first time he used the mole. Uh. I'm going to go with Hashaki's murder because he did. Um, if you don't remember uh, the mole, I believe got him drunk or I think he was drunk and he they beat him or something like that. And he died like a couple. I think I don't even he didn't die right away, but the mole was caught, um, I guess, confronting him, I think. So I, I'm going to go with this or it could be the Kari clan, too. Let's let's try uh, Hashaki's money murder for Hashiki, the vice director Hashiki, of the ADDC. He got beat to death six months ago, as you well know. <laughs> Hashiki had a secret deal with Chairman Kajihira. Together, they were gonna poke holes in this AD9 business, and bring the ADDC to its knees. But Shono, the researcher in charge of the truck, had a big secret he needed to keep hidden. Hashki's little investigation posed a big problem. That is, until he got beaten down in the back streets of Kamurocho. Hashki was fatally wounded by the mole and survived for another three weeks. But he didn't die right I away. I kept suspicion off Shono and left practically no evidence. Only the most skilled killer could pull something like that off. In other words, the assassin you and Shono have been using. <laughs> Think you struck a nerve. You're a real crack detective, Yagami. You know, I personally funded his time at law school. He never would have passed the bar without me. 
Because no you shit. funded law I'd school and made a good investment. one of those off in trips to the store for cigarettes, uh, too. Mind? Kind of in the middle of something here. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, we got blood on his white suit. That's an accomplishment. All right, so question Hamura. Let me see. Let me see what they got to say. <laughs> You're doing good, Yagami. Just let me know if you need the instruments. Why is Sanchez dressed up like a mobster on Halloween? Like, this is weird. Uh, I wonder if this dude, um, I wonder if he's going to end up killing Hamura or something. Talk. What are you going to ask next? Who the mole is. Hamura is the only one who knows his true identity. Could I leave? Oh, I can leave. All right, let's question this dude. Let's see what else he has to say. Um, where's the mole right now? Some fresh shoes he got on. <laughs> so, where's your friend? No clue, but he'll be here soon enough. All three of you are dead where you stand. He says the mole's on his way here. Uh oh, oh, is he now? I'd love to have a chat with the lad. That's not a good thing. Keep dreaming, pal. He'd wipe the floor with your backcountry ass. Mm. Enough, Hamura. Tell us who the mole is and how you started working with him. Have those instruments handy? Coming right up. All right, all right, I'll talk. I'm gonna prune his ass. That's almost a shame. <laughs> I like when it's tool time. Now, who is the mole? At first, he was just an informant feeding off the chaos that breeds in Camarocho like flies. An informant? Yep, and he was trained by one of the best in the business. Rose to prominence after the cops busted his mentor. And that made the mole the top guy in the biz. One of those situations where the student surpassed the master. Nobody could beat his intel. Could get his hands on anything you needed to. Guns, forged documents, you name it. Whatever I have to tell you, be. Before long, we'd formed a nice little partnership. Started making a name for ourselves. Thinking about it. It's been about 20 years now. And keep talking or it's tools. Oh, tool time. <laughs> Once I got the gig as captain of the Matsugane family, I started relying on him even more. Let me tell you, the guy could dispose of a corpse like it was the easiest damn thing in the world. So basically he's like the Grim he Reaper, basically. Of steel. And he's never even sworn up. Flash forward to a couple years ago, he said he was ready to start doing hits. That's when my <laughs> big chance finally came. So it was the mole who brought assassination to the table. Who's the real Yakuza here? Honestly, I wasn't that big on the whole murder thing. But the dangerous shit's what really brings in the cash. So, I started touting his services around the darker side of Kamarocho. <laughs> Felt like I added a new dish to my menu. This is no time for jokes, you fool. <laughs> what, you don't approve of my methods? This city will swallow you whole if you don't got the cash. And protecting the family name doesn't come cheap. <sighs> you think Kaido could have toughed it out with all his swagger? We'd have vanished by now. But with enough money, who knows? We could have rode it to the top of the Tojo clan. Wasn't that always part of the dream, boss? It was, yes. But not anymore. Uh, that's so. <laughs> that's funny. Because I spent my entire life chasing that dream for you. The goal you fucking told me to strive for. <laughs> Let's get back on topic, shall we? Oh man, got personal. Look at his eyes, dang. Tell me this: you started shopping the mole services around. What then? What happened? 
<sighs> Wasn't long till we got our first hit. Our mark was Hoshki, vice director of the ADDC. And Shono's the one who hired you? So I heard. He always contacted me through someone else. They could have at least washed Hamura up. Um, I see. So there was a middleman that connected the Hamaracho Yakuza to the ADDC. A guy by the name of Ishimatsu. Short the hell is that? <laughs> always had this creepy fucking smile. He does face. like a little garden gnome. At the time, we all thought this was gonna be a one-off. He talked with hi. Didn't do much <laughs> prying, you know. Never like just knew why they wanted the guy dead. We just took the ten mil and did what we were at. He just looks like the type that just walks in women's bathroom. Him to die discreetly, though, right? Pretty much. With so no hesitation. Did. Ishimatsu took a real shine to us after that. A few months later, he was back with another job. And that was? Well, gathering test subjects for their 89 experiments. That's crazy. And disposing of the bodies. So they were literally testing whatever that is on actual bodies. That's crazy. So you just want me to abduct these Curie guys? You don't want them dead. He looks like a little creep. That is correct. Mm. <laughs> and your reward. He sounds like a creep. It's a hundred million yen. A hundred million each. yen. Dang. Huh. Real funny. He came prepared. Last time it was ten for a hit job. Why give us so much more to kidnap a few guys? <laughs> funny you should ask that. It could very well end up being more than just a few guys. We're not quite sure how many we might want. Perhaps just one. Or maybe even ten might not be satisfactory. Ten, huh? I'm getting peeping Tom vibes from him. Is, we expect <laughs> this to be a long-term partnership. Given the sensitive nature of this task, naturally we expect the utmost secrecy. He hasn't blinked not once. I just realized. Oh, well, well, never mind. I smoked this one. One hundred million. Conveys the importance of that. What about the Kyori guys? What happens to them, huh? It's unfortunately likely that they'll end up dead. Excuse me if this is presumptuous, but considering the amount I'm offering, would that also cover the body disposal? Or would that uh, cost extra? Drop the fucking act, asshole! <gasps> Where you getting that kind of money, huh? A hundred mil just to kill one goddamn Yakuza? <laughs> I actually never said you needed to kill anyone. I only requested that you bring them to us. And then you would just dispose of the evidence. Oh, damn. I don't see where this is going. Hamura's not playing. You think the Yakuza are your tool? You don't understand. My only role is delivering the message. My employer, he's the root of all of this. And you have no idea how many billions of yen he has to He's ensure sweating? his objectives are achieved. Dang. What? Gonna get him sweat. If you pull that trigger right now, <laughs> who knows how decisive the retribution might be. Those billions could instead be shifted toward erasing you. What was that? Just think about it. How long will you be able to survive. Well, he got a point. Use your head, Captain Hamura. That little munchkin got power to kill him. If he killed it right There's now, he would no walk out that door, probably. Once you agreed to meet with me today, you all but guaranteed your participation and your compliance. That's crazy. <laughs> so I strongly suggest you put the gun away. Pretty much mo money, power, and Does respect. That make sense? I love how the gun got literally that man's face is dry as hell and as soon as that gun got placed in his face he started sweating <laughs> you guys are seriously that big huh well, hold on you tell me more talk allow me to answer your question it's what true that? that we have access to vast amounts of money yes but we're not the violent organization you think we are who the oh, hell is yeah. that? Who are you? Ishimatsu's superior. Oh, it's his dad. Ichinose. 
<laughs> Can't tell me they don't look like Kamara's dad or something. Choosing to show you my face <laughs> is because I've decided to trust you, and because I want you to understand how far we're willing to go to bring our plan to fruition. My name's the gold Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Can't tell me. He's... I'm currently researching Shono a brand new drug like called Manny Pacquiao. AB9, a drug that could very well save Japan. Or, or, or maybe even the world if... <laughs> Put that man on hush. A new drug. Where do I come in? The reality of the situation is, we are under intense pressure to complete our work on AD9 expediently. To that end, Hamra-san, we'd like to ask for your assistance. Ichinose. So the Ministry of Health is in on this too. It goes all the way up. It's kind of Maybe obvious, it though. Does. Are you familiar with the Medical Institute? The Medical Institute, that's the organization that runs the ADDC. Yeah. It's home to the ADDC. It makes a comfy place for all the health ministry execs to go retire. Well, it just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. Mm. He rode that success all the way up to vice minister. Hold on, I'm, so, I, I'm sorry to cut Homura off, but off, I mean, but I just realized that this whole time Yagami has not been sitting. He's literally in this awkward <laughs> What is that? Like Yagami look like he's about to twerk right now. What the hell? My bad, y'all. In other words, his whole legacy's riding on the ADDC. AD9's got to come out on top for him to stay on top. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens. I know his yeah. knees hurt. Ichinose is not the only one profiting either. There are tons of parties involved. All being promised this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for AD9 to succeed, so be it. That's crazy. So basically, they have been using basically all the bodies we found have been basically victims to the hands of ADDC. So they've been using whatever it is. That they're trying to use or testing it, whatever it is, they're testing it on Yakuza's. Yakuza's, Yakuza. That's crazy. Uh, let's see what they gotta say. Ah, this shit got real serious real quick, didn't it? We in over our heads? I don't know, Sanchez. You got some croc. I thought he had crocs on. In the end, maybe it was my own incompetence that led Hamura down this path. Um, okay. All right, let's see what else he got to say. Why did you pick Korra Clan Yakuza as a test subject? So that's crazy. They've been using them. Here's a question. Why'd you go after Kyori guys for the experiments? Just following Shono's orders. Shono told you Oh, to? wow. So Shono yeah. told him to do it. He said there was a chance of the subject dying when we gave him the AD9. That's crazy. Now, if regular old civilians started disappearing... That'd make the news in no time. But nobody'd notice a few missing Yakuza during a turf war. That's crazy. Only natural there'd be some casualties, yeah? Hmm. I guess so. That wasn't the only reason, though. Shono said... <sighs> he didn't want to perform dangerous experiments on innocent civilians. I mean, it made sense, I guess. And what, these Yakuza deserve this somehow? Hmm. Uh. The Kajihira group was the one trying to shut down the ADDC to begin with. Oh. And the Kyore were Kajihira's lapdogs. A couple of dead thugs didn't weigh on him too much. But don't shoot the messenger. Shono's the one who said it. You'll keep talking if you know what's good for you. Unless you want to go back to the hard way, I'm all for it. <laughs> what else could you possibly want to know? Where'd you get that Actually, suit? <laughs> I've got one more thing. Oh, yeah? You made it sound earlier like you weren't that involved in the killings. But that's not the whole truth, is it? In fact, I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the Kyore killings. 
The proof that Homura took part in attacking the Kura clan is... Okay, well, this is gonna be, um... Hold on. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one. Um, Kume's direct cause of death was brain trauma or something. I have a feeling if I choose this one, I might be wrong. Let's try this right here. Oh no, wait, oh. Yeah, let's try this real quick. Take a look at this. I think I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna be wrong. Check this out. Look familiar? It's camera footage of you abducting Kume. So tell me, why'd you take the fall? They even got your face on tape. You're not usually that sloppy. <laughs> Answer me. That was right after we axed two Curie guys one after another. Damn. They started catching on. Wouldn't go around town alone anymore. So I was right. Keep going. When you're marked that on guard, nobody's laying a hand on him. Not even a trained assassin. So the mole needed a hand. Someone you could trust to get the ball rolling. And that someone is me. So what happened after you left Amora? My guy took Kume out the back. Loaded him in the trunk of a car. Took him to Shono. Just like all the other AD9 tests. That's my star. To the ADDC? No, not the center. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Some place Shono and Mole set up. So they carried out their human experiments in some kind of secret lab? Suppose they did. Then why'd they need to gouge the eyes out? No clue. He never told me. Maybe he wanted to make it look like a Yakuza killing. <laughs> Maybe the mole's just into some sick shit. Uh, I'd probably say both. Okay, um, let's see what they got to say. <laughs> What's next on the list? Keep the fucking pressure on this shithead. Why? Why are y'all even here? Like, just to spectate? I, I, I just realized that. <laughs> What's next? Oh no! Wait, hold on. Also, oh, the, oh, the old man ain't got nothing to say. He's sick of this right now. He already done disowned him. Shintani. He had nothing to do with the Kyore clan, but you guys still used him as an AD9 test subject. Or was there some other reason you had him killed? Shintani's death. That was my fault. Huh? Oh, wow. Did he just say that was his when fault? We took care of Kume. I was the one on the hook for it. Uh-oh. -uh. Let me tell you, ending up in the slammer for a murder you didn't do is scary shit. Made me think. Wouldn't hurt to have some insurance. Insurance? Talk to Shintani before the trial and told him this. If the pieces fall into place and I hang for this, look into Shono at the ADDC. Huh? So you told him about the deal you made with Ichinose. Well... Not exactly. Shono was the only name I mentioned. But if anyone found out I spilled the beans to Shintani, well... I'd be betraying the cause. So I told the bastard, only go digging if shit really hits the fan. Why did he call Shono if he knew it was that important to you? Why did he start digging it up? So Shintani knew this his me. whole time and didn't tell me. Got a pretty good theory though. You wanna hear? Yeah, do tell. My guess? He didn't wanna let you hog all the glory. Huh, <laughs> so... Uh. He might have won my trial, but you're the one who found the key evidence. He wasn't the only thing that was in the closet. There was Shintani a lot of things he was hiding. Sure, but it was only by association. But that's why he was murdered. Nobody said it, but they all knew. You did the real work. Kind of feel less but bad even now. then, you didn't stop trying to show up the poor guy. Right when the trial came to a close, there you were. Hunting the real killer down. So basically, Shintani was a secret hater. How do you think Shintani felt? Sitting around, waiting for you to stumble onto the truth. I mean, he stumbled out of my closet. <laughs> Can't imagine he was sleeping well. And he was sleeping, all right. <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? Come on. 
The mole is way bigger than you know. Wow, so he knew Shintani this whole time. He wanted to find the truth before you did. That's crazy. Wanted to earn his time in the sun. He and his son, all right. And that's somewhere. why he called the ADDC to investigate the killings himself. That's crazy. That's my theory. Can't back it up, though. Either way, the end result was the same. Ichinose found out Shintani was trying to get in touch with Shono. Signed his own death sentence. That's crazy. You know, Shitani. I'm sure it was plain as day that I was the guy who put him on the right trail. It's in a casket. So, ain't she knows the one who gave the order. That's funny. So, basically, Shitani kind of deserved to die. Because imagine it's like you're trying to do something for, with a great cause, and then this dude is like trying to make it seem like it's a competition. It's, he could have literally just worked with y Yagami to figure this whole situation out, but his pride got in the way and literally got buried with him. So <laughs> it, it's just crazy that he actually knew that information and didn't want to share it with Yagami because he thought Yagami was trying to get one up on him. That's crazy. So I had no choice but to silence Shintani. I even paid silence for the right. job out of my own pocket. And when it came to setting up a fall guy, we picked Ayabe. Of course. <laughs> First, we got his gun. Mm. The mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it. And put it back in Ayabe's holster. That's messed up. That meant that the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. <laughs> Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it, Ayabe's alibi isn't gonna hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him? Right. Nobody will buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? <laughs> What's going on now? Was somebody cooking? <laughs> why, are they, why are they sniffing like that? What was that? What's wrong? It smells like. Something's burning. Uh, somebody burning something what? in the kitchen. <laughs> Why is he laughing? My boys must have finally decided to show up. Uh oh. You really want to meet the mole? Now's your chance. That's a gun, son. Oh crap! We so we're go. going to get to see the mole. You too. I told y'all he was going to kill him, bro. Is he? I'm going to go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. Shoot him. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough. If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. Huh. Is he going to actually shoot him? From where they stand, I'm sure you could be replaced. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, <laughs> Hamura. Huh? Come on. Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot him. Uh oh, something's about to pop off. Oh, there's nothing burning. What the hell are these animals? It must be in the kitchen. <laughs> it's the Matsugane. Oh crap. They went and started a fire downstairs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. What the... Why is he crying? Oh, Marase. How many they got? What is all this? Oh crap, is that? Ooh! <laughs> that man just deteriorated. Whoa! That's it. They're so fucking dead! They just turned that man into a suicide bomber. That's crazy. Where is his hey, body part? Stop a bomb was that? How did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? That is crazy. And no furniture was touched in the area too. It was like, oh no! They just set the building on fire. Damn. 
Let's crack some heads! We've gotta go, Matsugane-san. Right. Leave Hamura to me. Bro, I don't even have that much health. I just realized that. I haven't played this in so long. I almost forgot how to play. Hopefully, playing Sifu kind of helped me. Okay, alright, let's do this. Hold on, let me see something. Do whatever you can to keep them away from us. Got it. Yo, I haven't played this in so long. During this battle, enemies will attack once again. Okay, we got the protect on. Bro, it's been so long since I played this game. Alright. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, I'm playing Seafood, like. But I forgot the controls, I ain't gonna lie. Oh crap. No, 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 no. I mean, you got a gun. Stop busting that, them. So I got a gun. Oh crap. What's the other guy? Oh crap, what the hell? Are we oh, we gotta go this way. I need a weapon or something. Hold on, where's the fat dude at? He's probably on. Oh, the fire isn't affecting him down hold on so I can tell we're close to beating the game because they keep mentioning the mole so I'm pretty sure we're probably close to beating it oh wow we're in a burning building we gotta use the key that's great got it right, where are we going no nope, we're not going that way what the hell? I wonder if we have to fight the mole. Because they're saying that he's here, so... I'm guessing once we're done with this, he's just gonna pop up, I guess? I don't know. Alright, so we gotta go this way. <sighs> gotta use keys again, man. Perfect. Is Kato Sono okay? I just realized that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, that's great. We gotta fight Fat Boy here. I'll handle this. Stay back. Looking like a Don't bottle of Petno Bismol. Like mutated bubblegum. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I have to, I have to get these controls because I feel like I'm playing C4. I don't know really the, the controls that well. How do we invade? Okay, wait, hold on. Nah, items. Do we have any? I don't think I have any more food. What? Yeah, I do. Get him in the corner. Hold on, go, 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 go. Oh, crap. Damn. Okay, that wasn't cool. Um, <laughs> wasn't cool at all. Hold on, I think the health kit takes away. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, the health kit takes away. Oh, get up! Damn. 
forgot about that the health kit takes away how do you block i think you block okay okay so he's not playing with me at all hold on let me get this real quick hit him there we go Bro, what the hell? You got me clicking everything, but... Oh, crap. Bro. That's not nice at all. Alright, let me, um... Hold on, let me see something real quick. I need something that, um... Right, let's use this for guys. That's it. Let me use um this real quick so I don't die. What's going on? Oh, that's great. Is he gonna shoot him? Damn. Get out the fire, bro. What I don't get is how in the hell is he still hitting me and I have the thing, like I'm still getting the health. The health is still being depleted even when he hits me. That makes no sense. You would think that it would have helped me. I don't know, whatever, I'm just not gonna. Burn his ass, burn him, burn him, burn him, burn him, burn him. There we go. <sighs> Hold on, y'all. Dang. <laughs> oh, this guy. I can't stand this guy right here. Bro, he's lasted this long. You okay? <laughs> oh, man said, don't you move. <laughs> <laughs> so let me guess we gotta fight everybody in here i hope we don't have to fight everybody uh oh <laughs> yo is that yep got the leather boots on and everything damn don't tell me i gotta fight this guy bro Uh oh. Is that. Is that the mole? Oh, he's gonna kill him, Mara. No. Don't! Ooh. Yeah, so her died, yo. <laughs> you gotta be. Dang! Oh, crap. No, damn. It's like a Power Ranger. Dang. That is crazy. So the old man died. Please kill him. Please kill him. Kill him. No, not him. Damn. A 
Damn, he killed him anyway. Motherfucker! Boss! That's what? crazy. Why did you? Shot that man three times. I did. So that was the ball, right? That's crazy. I would have done the, the same if I was him. You knew too much. I wish I wasn't right. You're too damn soft. You didn't. You didn't have to protect me. <sighs> that is crazy. He shot him like he gave that man new nipples and a belly button. <laughs> like he just shot him here, here, and then here. That's some accuracy. Shot that man in the nipples and the belly button. That's sad. Her murder should have died. Of course, I wasn't ignorant. I, I looked the other way and just never asked where the money came from. It was easier that way. I'm not going to blame you for for all of that. You just did what you had to. That's crazy. I'm sorry. No, not like this. Don't go. I wanted to. I wanted to. To make up for. It was the, the only way. You old fool. You didn't need to go that far. That's sad, man. I only did. Yeah, well, what you know. Father. Just hold on. Bro, y'all gotta get out of there. The um, building's about to um. For me, hurry and get out. Not without you. Let's go. Yeah, that, that's a sign right there. The building saying, "Get out." The building is literally saying, "Get out." I'll cremate him. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Hamura, he better work with us now. What did he say? Now you know the truth. Karoiwa. Karoiwa is the one you want. The, that's the dude that's been on my case, right? That's been trying to prosecute me. I kind of figured, though. I kind of figured. I had a suspicion that he was probably the mole. Because of the fact that he keep the last few times, like even when the part where he um showed up in the alley out of nowhere and an assassin popped up, I kind of figured he was a mole. I kind of figured that. That's crazy, man. But at least Homura told us, though we didn't have to um. And. Patriarch Matsugane. Oh damn! Well, I, I'm not gonna act like I'm shocked. I'm pretty sure. No. I figured that he was gonna die anyway. Kuroiwa. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, he would show up too to the scene. That's bold. <laughs> this man is crazy. Kuroiwa. That man killed somebody and showed up to the scene. <laughs> That is a dangerous man. What's going on? That is a Don't dangerous man. Me, we just need to have a little chat. At the that station. is a dangerous man. <laughs> you know how crazy it is for somebody to sh <laughs> for somebody to burn down a building, kill about he had to kill about twenty people in that room, and show up to the crime scene. You know how crazy you gotta be. That man is bold. No, he needs to get to a hospital. Hmm. He looks fine to me. I'll watch after him otherwise. Are you a doctor now? He needs professional attention. This man is going to try to kill me. Testing. He'll be just fine with me. You don't even have a reason. It's okay. I'll go with you. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh, please don't tell me we got to fight him. <laughs> look at his eyes, bro. Like, he just looks demonic. Like, 
That man killed about 20 people in that room and showed up. You had yourself one hell of a night, huh, Yagami? Uh, you it did too. It's ending anytime soon. That damn gun. That damn Pixar light up my face. <laughs> Could you at least take these off? Or am I gonna get booked? Afraid I can't. Wouldn't you know, someone went and lost the key. Oh, I bet they did. Was it at the, um, at the crime scene? Hara told me everything. Told you what? You shouldn't have never said that. Told me who you really are. You killed Vice Director Hashiki. Even if Hamura dies, I don't care. Yakuza. And Shintani's all you too. I'm on to you. <laughs> well, that's a good story. But there's only one detective here. Let's start with the cabaret and what you were doing there. I know that you're the mole. I'm the one asking the questions around here, so... You aren't denying it. <laughs> this man is psychotic. Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing when you first noticed the fire? Hamura getting away is what's gonna bring you down for good. You really missed your big chance. Can you tell me who started the fire? Uh, you? Matsukane-san is dead because of you. So the moment I get out, your ass is mine! <laughs> your ass Let's is grass! Dang. Well, that woke him up. I don't think you realize. 89 gives me complete immunity. I'm talking about people that go all the way up the chain here. They see everything. When it comes to protecting 89's interests, there's no limit to what they'll do. Hamura is a loose end that I'll take care of eventually. <coughs> and that's a fate you'll both share. This won't end with you alive. I don't mind that. All that matters is proving that you murdered them. This man is psychotic. If you think you scare me, sorry. You has been fraud. <coughs> Roy was on there's a call for you just one second should I take over nah I'm through here how was it then oh then again it's probably no, sur no surveillance or anything here what is he about to do the fire at the cabaret Tojo clan and Kyore clan Yakuza are both responsible for starting it uh oh Luckily, Yagami-san just happened to be nearby and saw the whole thing. This case is closed. Thank you for your time. He really is about I'll to let me go. Then, He's gonna let me go just to try to kill me. This man is psychotic. <laughs> Bro, this man is crazy. I'm exhausted. I just want to crash. Huh? Who's this from? Oh, this old man is so annoying, bro. I don't care. Crap, what do I do? Not a damn thing. I don't care. That is so crazy, bro. Alright, so... Hold on, let's go to the, uh... To the agency real quick. Because I'm curious what's going to happen next. I need to get some... Hold on, how much money do I got? I need to get me some. Let's just see what's gonna happen first. Oh, somebody's chasing me. Bro, come on, man. I just want to get Hi, some. Mister. Who the hell are you? Yeah? Who's asking? I have a present for you. What is it? Is it a bomb? I don't know. Some guy told me to give it to you. He said he was a friend. Oh, no. Oh, and he said to open it right away. That's not good if I'm getting a gift right after leaving jail. What? It's a freaking grenade. Hold on, what's going on? Wonderful, Yagami. Who the hell is this? Such stunning reflexes. What the hell? You even avoided doing any property damage. Well, did you enjoy my present? 
Don't tell me we have to fight, because I don't have the time nor the health. Who the hell are you? Look, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to help you. Oh, you're not trying to hurt me. 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 Oh,